The following presentation is controversial and may be offensive to some audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Radio from the heart of America now. And now, the Commander in Chief is back. Freedom Friday with Carl Gallops, the Oval Office of Gulf Coast Talk Radio. Right, and welcome back. I'm so glad you're with us, folks. You don't want to miss this next segment. Uh, Mike Shoesmith, executive editor of PNN News and Ministry uh, Network, will be up with us. And uh, I'm, kind, I'm just kind of preparing myself for this because I know where he's going to go in this first segment. And uh, so, Mike, listen. Um, I'm going to let you run yeah. with it, and I'm going to let you bust it open. But but I want to introduce it by saying this: You're going to talk about. We are going to talk about the yeah. fact that Ben Carson has lost his ever-loving mind, and and he is now kind of advising Donald Trump to, quote, back off the birther issue. Now, now we're, we're going to go off on that, but, but, and you may, I'm sure you know this, I don't know if you have seen this article, in fact, I'm getting ready to uh, post it on uh, freedomfriday.carl gallops on Facebook, but back in 2014, in May of 2014, Alan Combs interviewed Ben Carson about this birther, birtherism thing. Do you have this? Right. No, no. Okay, listen to this. Okay. In this interview with Alan Combs from earlier this week, Dr. Ben Carson does the birther two-step, saying that while he does believe Obama was born in Hawaii, it right. is also, quote, reasonable for people to be suspicious about his background. Mm -hmm. Sure. And now... He's chewing out Trump for exactly what he said that it was reasonable for people to do. And the interview was probably over at that point because it takes Ben Carson that long to say that. I, I, know, <laughs> I know, bless his heart. Listen, I, well, you know, I love Dr. Carson in so many ways, and I love his movie. Right. I own the movie uh, Gifted, sure. Gifted Hands. I mean, it's right. just an amazing movie. He's an amazing guy, but good gosh, on this issue, he has lost his mind. But you go ahead. You talk about it. I'm posting that well, yeah. right now. Well, we're going to talk about some amazing guys, including Ben Carson today, because, I mean, let's face it, the guy is amazing. Hey, listen, you know, Carl... There is probably two things that I'm extremely good at, right? In fact, one of those things, it could be said that I'm the best in the world at. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> and, uh, and, 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 I, and I wouldn't be, it's not bragging if you can do it, Carl. That's I'm right. Just saying, I'm I know. just saying. I know. You're <laughs> so, just saying. You're right, man. You're right. Go ahead. And, and I could enter any contest in this particular area and win every one. I'm quite certain of it, okay? Mm -hmm. and, then there, and then there's a few things that I'm pretty pretty fair at, like, you know, home improvement and, and auto mechanics and so on. Uh, and, and, then, and then there's a bunch of things, like, for example, uh, you, would, you would never want Mike Shoesmith to do your taxes, for example. You would never want that. I would, I would, it would be a, a horror show if I did uh, Carl Gallup's taxes. Okay. Uh, it's just something that, that I take need your word to for pay it. people to do that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, need, I need to pay people to do that because... You know, I tried it once or twice, and, and I got audited. It was just a bad scene. It was right. just a bad scene. But, Carl, but. If, 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 if you want to pay me $400,000 a year, uh, along with uh, a $50,000 annual expense account and a $18,000 for entertainment, I will be happy to do your taxes. I will do for that kind of cabbage. I will do your taxes. I, I agree, uh, and that just happens to be the amount of money that the president of the United States gets every year. That's his. That's how much money he gets. That those are the numbers. Okay. 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 So here we have somebody like Ben Carson, right? The guy is, as you said, from the movie uh, Gifted Hands or whatever it's called, mm -hmm. Healing Hands or whatever. I, gifted, I, I, the I Gifted Hand, I think, or something gifted like that. Hands, but anyway, right. go ahead. It's a, it's a movie about Ben Carson and yeah. his upbringing. And, yeah. uh, it's how, great. It's a good know, movie. Uh, Cuba, right. Go Cuba Gooding Jr. Uh, stars in it, I do believe. Yeah, and, and you know, the guy was uh, the first to separate, uh, I don't know, twins that were joined at the head or something like yes, separated that's correct. The brains or mm -hmm. something like that. That's correct. The guy is awesome at what he does. Mm -hmm. But that does not mean that Ben Carson should be president of the United States or even advising the president of the United States or even advising someone who is running mm -hmm. as president of the United States, as is evidenced by his interview with Jake Tapper of CNN, when T Tapper said to Carson, Quote, as a factual matter, President Obama was, was born in the United States. Do you think it's time for Donald Trump, 
Now, listen to the question here. It's important. Do you think it's time for Donald Trump to acknowledge all that birth or nonsense was all a mistake and to apologize so that African-American voters to whom he's reaching out might be more willing to listen to his message? Car- Carson answer. Carson answer. I think I'm going to walk away from this campaign and go back to being a doctor. No, 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 no. That was not his answer. Yeah. His answer was, I think that would be a good idea. Absolutely. Excuse me. Excuse me. What? You think that Donald Trump should apologize for taking seriously a criminal investigation launched right. by Sheriff Joe Arpaio and Mike Zulo? You think that he should apologize for that? I mean, the evidence points to many things here. Yeah. And uh, we have that list posted in this article, yeah. which is now on the Freedom Friday Facebook yeah, we'll, page. We'll go through that list in a minute because there's some important considerations there. Because I know people are listening to right. us right now screaming at the radio, you know, oh, you're just a bunch of birthers. Don't you know that we know he was born in Hawaii? No, we don't. No, we don't. And you don't either, and you can't prove it. Nobody can prove where he was born thus far. Well, when I was first reading this, that's exactly what I was screaming when I was listening to this interview. Excuse me, Jake Tapper, you're saying that we know we definitely know. that yeah. he was born. Okay, where's that evidence? That's right. I want to see that evidence because Sheriff Arpaio has, in his words, a warehouse full of evidence that says he was not born, in, or rather that the that the documentation proffered by Barack Obama, including right. that uh, that's what that. It says, PD, yeah. that nine-layer PDF document posted to the White House website is a fraudulent document. Right. And right. So, so he's got all this evidence supporting this. I want to know where Jake Tapper's evidence is, which, right. which, 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 uh, which says that Barack Obama is who he says he is, because so right. far we haven't seen any. Right. And let me just say, Sheriff Arpaio, Mike Zullo, neither one of them have officially stated that, that they know or don't know where Obama was born. To them, this right. is not a birther issue. The issue with right. them, as you just brilliantly stated, is that what they posted on the White House government website to prove his birth is an illegitimate document. It's a copy of something, a copy of a copy of something, but it's not a birth certificate. And right. and what's up there is not legitimate. He could not sign up for a Little League baseball team with that document. Yet we're supposed to just take that illegitimate copy of a copy that's fraudulent and say, oh, well, this proves it. This proves where he's from. No, it doesn't. We don't, no one has ever yet held up to the public the original birth certificate or even a copy of it with a raised seal and a sworn affidavit saying, this is his document, this is where he was born. Hey, don't forget Governor Neil Abercrombie, a Democrat, a friend of the Obama family, ran right. on a campaign promise for governor of Hawaii that when he became governor, he would use all of his gubernatorial powers to bring the birth certificate to the front to do away with this birther conspiracy once and for all. He would prove that Obama was born in Hawaii. The man went into office, and after a few months in office, came before the media and said, well, I'm unable to produce the document, but I've been assured that it's there. And then he was, right, and and then he was voted out four years later. He couldn't do what he promised to do with all of his it. bravado. Nope, no, could, couldn't, couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Even and the governor couldn't do it. Conferences. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Well, listen, Mike, let me go back to this, and then I'm going to let you keep going. But yeah. I'm looking at this article, this CNN interview. Listen to the first couple of paragraphs. Okay, now this, folks, I just posted this at freedomfriday.carl gallops on Facebook. But listen to this, Mike. Alan Combs says, and by the way, I've been on Alan Combs' show four times myself, so right. I know how, how dogged he can be when he's on to something. I know how he twists sure. and perverts words and twists and pervert, right. perverts your words. But look yeah. at, listen to what he says to Carson. Combs says, so for example, uh, Dr. Carson, I never heard of a president before questioned about his birth certificate being treated as if he was foreign or not one of us. By the way, they did that to John McCain. They had a Senate investigation exactly. on John McCain, Alan Combs, you idiot. And then, <laughs> and then Combs goes on to say, you know, saying things like he's a secret Muslim. He said, doesn't that arise out of some sort of soft bigotry? Carson says, well... I would say that the best way to put that to rest is to expose everything. And by the way, that's all Joe Arpaio has ever asked for. That's exactly, all I've ever exactly. asked for. And then he says, including, Carson says, including your academic records, let us know, you know, where did you apply? When you apply to Columbia, from where were you applying? 
question mark. So in other words, ah. so in other words, Carson is implying that the guy might not be from here. And of course, right. Co Combs goes off on him, and Carson goes back on off on Combs. So in 2014, Ben Carson was doing exactly what Donald Trump is doing now, and then Ben Carson comes along less than two years later, and chews. Uh, Donald Trump out for doing the very same thing. So this is why I say Carson has lost his mind. And and there are many actually now calling for Donald Trump to fire Ben Carson as you know whatever role he's playing over there. Yeah, I mean I would. I mean and it only stands to reason he is now Ben Carson is now officially stumping for Hillary Clinton. Yeah, I mean if you if you if you take a, a, a sober look at this. He is calling for Donald Trump to do exactly what the Democrats are calling on him to do. Right. And, and by, by the way, uh, Joe Arpaio is also uh, uh, very friendly with Donald Trump uh, and that whole campaign and shows up at all the Arizona rallies right. and uh, gi gives a very solid endorsement for Donald Trump. Should now uh, Donald Trump, uh, should, should Donald Trump distance himself from the, from the king of birther town? Right. Which is uh, jo Joe Arpaio? I mean, right. Arpaio is the one sitting right. on all of this evidence. Sitting on a warehouse full of By the way, I am a sworn special deputy sheriff of the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office by Joe Arpaio. And I know what he's sitting on. Exactly. <laughs> and that's exactly. all I can say. That's all I can say. But the, but the deal is that... Um, you know, you're right. That was brilliant. So what, is is Trump supposed to distance himself now from Joe Arpaio and all of the criminal uh, and, and forensic investigation he has? Hey, Mike, back to this interview. Listen to this. Carson says to Combs, I don't think that this is racially motivated. I do think that people want to know because you know, be objective, Alan. You have somebody whose name is Barack Hussein Obama, and Combs says, <laughs> and Combs says that's right. Carson says, and there is secrecy about his records. There's something that's been written in the past, which I'm sure you're familiar with, uh, uh, Alan, that says he was born somewhere else. So see, uh -huh. you hear Carson defending his position as a birther on the, right. Alan, on the Alan Combs show just two years ago, and now Carson comes forward, sticks his foot right in the middle of this campaign, and, 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 and calls Trump out for doing the very same thing, asking the very same questions that he did just two years ago. Well, and, and Ben Carson, for those who don't know, he's actually referring to Obama's own book publisher, who said that, uh, who said in, 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 his, uh, in his bio, which, which was in print for 16 years, that Obama was born in Kenya, yeah. raised in Hawaii, yep. the Kenyan ambassador. Obama was born in Kenya, yep. and they've been to where he was born. Obama's maternal grandmother said he was born in Kenya, yep. and, 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 and that she was present at his birth. Yeah, and so, uh, or, so, Go ahead. No, I'm sorry. I was just going to say, listen, if we were in a trial and we agreed that we could convict or not convict Obama on circumstantial, let him to present his circumstantial evidence. The circumstantial evidence is his own publisher said he was born in Kenya, which means he, right. had, he had to sign off on it. The Kenyan ambassador said he was born in Kenya. His maternal grandmother said, his paternal grandmother said he was born in Kenya. His uh, paternal half-sister said he was born in Kenya. Um, as I said, his own publisher said that. There's not a single hospital anywhere in the United States that has erected a monument or hung a plaque on a wall or given any affidavit stating that he was born in their hospital. I mean, the you can go on and on with the circumstantial evidence that he is not from here. And then if you gave Obama the stand, all he all he could say is, well, there's a copy of a copy of something that's not legitimate on the White House website that proves it. And, and so we, we echo these two questions again here. One is that, how do you, Mr. Tapper and Dr. Carson, come to the conclusion that it's a factual matter that Mr. Obama was born in the United States when we have all these witnesses and all this documentation which says he was not? And we also echo the call of many that Donald Trump fired Ben Carson over this. Right.